Hi, my name is Peyton Ziegler and I am proud to be a Florida 4-H'er. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to succeed at the event Florida 4-H Legislature. This is my favorite 4-H event and I'm excited to help you representative and senators be the very best on the debate floor. Whether this is your first ledge or your fourth ledge, I hope you can feel prepared and excited to participate. Good evening, I'm Shay Dixon. I want to talk to you today about the roles of representatives and senators at 4-H legislature. So let's get to it. First off, what is a representative and senator? What do they do? Why are we talking about this? Why are we sitting here now? Okay, so representatives and senators are the main bread and butter of 4-H legislature and the main bread and butter of government in general, really. They are the people who create, debate, and vote on bills to become law. Legislators, like representatives and senators, most basic role is to debate on bills. Their job is to take ideas and bring them into the legislative process and discuss whether or not they'd be good to implement into society. Now your job in a ledge would be to do this in a simulated form. We are to try to pick out which ideas of bills will be best for Florida in general. To, participate. to start, what do representative and senators do? Just like in real life, you represent the citizens from your area as a legislature. You'll have the job to vote on and debate proposed Florida bills. An important role of being a legislature is you have the responsibility of sending proposed bills to the governor's desk to possibly be signed into law. Representative and senators will start in one of six smaller committees, agriculture and natural resources, health and human services, education, criminal justice, juvenile justice, or government commerce and transportation. In those groups, you'll be debating and voting on which bills will make it to the House and Senate floors. Once you go to the main chambers, all of the committee members will be together. This is where you'll get the chance to debate bills from other committees and vote on whether or not you want that bill to pass. This debate is super fun and educational, which is why I urge each and every representative or senator to jump in and participate. Debating on the floor is one of my personal favorite experiences at legislature. As you know, in 4-H, we learn by doing. And what better way to learn debate or public speaking skills than doing it at 4-H legislature? 4-H legislature is the perfect environment to practice standing up and speaking in front of others. And if you're nervous, start by debating in your committee with a smaller group of people. Now, Even if you're not you're just debating for your bill, ensure you do participate in debate. Without debate, we have no ledge. There's no reason to be here. Everyone has their own opinions, and I'm sure you do too. Make sure you have those opinions be heard. They'll always, of course, be respectful to all, the, all other opponents in debate, and only bring up factual information that might be able to further your case. Debate only sustainably works if you're truthful in that debate. When you come to ledge, like real representatives and senators, you'll have several bills that you're sponsoring. These bills, you'll be charged with guiding them through the legislative process. You'll have chose, them, chose to sponsor them through your committee chair prior to coming to ledge. Now, originally, they'll start in the committee. During the committee meetings, you'll be able to um, defend them to a smaller group, a group that is specifically focused on bills similar to yours. Say you have two transportation bills, they're going to both be in the GCT committee, or the Government, Commerce, and Transit committee. Similarly, if you have two education bills, they're both going to be in the Education committee. If you make it through the committee process through debate, amendment, and vote, you'll be able to debate your bill on the House or Senate floor, depending on which role you have. Once on the chamber floor, you'll have an opportunity to present your bill and bring out the initial, and bring out the initial argument for your bill. You will also be asked questions regarding how your bill works. These are called non-debatable technical questions. These questions can't be debated, but they are specifically on how your bill works. So be familiar on how your bill is supposed to work according to the actual text of the bill. You'll also be asked questions regarding why you need the bill. You'll also have pro-con debate 
that will debate for and against your bill. Ensure that you participate in this debate, because otherwise there's a good chance that your bill will just sink. And that's no fun. So, what you want to do is try to come up with arguments for your bills as soon as you can. As soon as you have the bills, try to begin to formulate an argument. Why must we have this bill? What good would it do? Why is it necessary? Also, search up the most common counter arguments, the most common things people say against that bill, and try to come up with sustainable rebuttals that might help defend against con debate. Even if you're not opportunity to sponsor a bill. Now, what does that mean? A bill sponsor represents and fights for their bill to pass in both their committee and on the chamber floor. Part of being a bill sponsor means that you have the opportunity to present both an opening and closing statement for your bill. We encourage every legislature participant to sponsor at least one bill during their week at legislature. Now, before your week at legislature even begins, what can you do to come prepared? I believe that the more prepared you are, the less nervous you'll be. There are two manuals that you should print before attending legislature. Manual 1 has everything you could need, from what to pack to how to present a bill. The legislature committee works hard to make a bill book for the year. This bill book is the second manual. As a representative or senator, it would be a good idea to look through the bills beforehand and understand some of the pros and cons. This is especially important for your committee's bills. Each committee will have about 10 bills. Within your committee, you'll have- How do you come to Ledge Prepared? Well, the answer there is quite simple. Just ensure that you're in communication with your committee chair as soon as possible. Communicate with your committee chair and pick out several bills that you'd want. Do as much research on those bills as possible and come up with any amendments that you might want to add. answer some of your 4-H legislature questions. I can't wait to see everyone debating in chambers. Thank you!